The second question we're gonna look at is the following. The needle on a broken car, speedometer, is free to swing off the pins at either end. So that if you give it a flick, it is equally likely to come to rest at, a, at any angle between 0 and pi. So we can answer three questions here. What is the probability density? Are we gonna find the average of the angle? The average of the square of the angle? And sigma, which stands for the standard deviation? Are we gonna find the average of the sine of the angle? The average of the cosine? And the average of the cosine square? So first, let's look at the probability density. So we, we decide from earlier that probability is P of J, right? This is from the first question. But J here is irrelevant because in the previous question, J was the age. Here we're going to have theta, so P of theta. But before we had only probabilities because we had dis discrete uh, individual edges. However, here theta is the angle that the needle can, you know, come at rest. So we can we can assume this is theta. So anywhere between zero and pi, theta can be. So now we're not gonna look at p of theta. We're gonna look at the probability density, which we're gonna give it the, the Greek letter rho, rho of theta. If you can recall from the first question that we also looked at the sum of the probabilities when j starts from 0 to infinity, this should be equal to 1. Here we're going to have almost the same thing but the integral, it's not going to be a sum. The integral from negative infinity to infinity of rho of theta d theta this should be equal to 1 this is also normalization right so now uh, let's 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 try to find this rho so we know that rho must be constant between uh, 0 and pi right so theta between 0 and pi uh, the probability density must be constant So this constant, if you do the integral, we can integrate from 0 to pi. We know that equals to 1. So when you do this integration, you're going to find that rho of theta, which is the probability density. If you don't have an intuition of what is a probability density, that's fine. You're going you're gonna to develop some intuition later on in the course. This is if theta sits between 0 and pi. And the probability is 0 everywhere else, right? Otherwise. So this is the probability density. The second part of the question is we can find the expectation value of theta and the expectation value of theta squared. So the expectation value of theta we're just gonna find this in this following interval we're gonna integrate uh, between 0 and pi between 0 and pi rho of theta is just 1 over pi right so during this integral we have 1 over pi theta squared divided by 2 integrated from 0 to pi what do we get can you guess the average value of theta think about it if this is theta this is the angle if this is the needle here and theta is swinging back and forth this angle here this is theta right 
So th theta is swinging between 0 and pi. 0 and pi. 0 and pi. If you take the average, where do you think it's gonna be? Of course, it's pi over 2. It's in the middle, right? So, if you do this integral, you're gonna get uh, pi over 2. Of course. Alright, so let's now find the expectation value of theta square. This is just simple math from, from now on. This is a bit harder to find, uh, to imagine, okay? So, from 0 to pi, theta square. Oop, sorry. D theta. Because rho is 1 over pi. So it's not there. So doing this integral, we get uh, 1 over pi. Theta cubed divided by 3 from 0 to pi. And this is going to be pi squared over 3. This is a bit harder to imagine. But uh, later on in the future, in the future courses, hopefully you're going to develop some uh, intuition of what's, what is to find the average of the square of the angle. The third part of the problem is we're going to find the average of the sine of the angle, the cosine of the angle and the cosine square of the angle. So let's go ahead and do that. So the average sine of theta. So we're just going to integrate between 0 and pi. This is just uh, plug and chug, right? Sine of theta d theta. Don't forget the rho. Rho is 1 over pi. So doing this integral we get 1 over pi negative cosine of theta from 0 to pi. If you, if you plug these values you get 2 over pi. Right? So let's imagine it. So this is the angle. I'm, I'm sorry, this is the cos the sine of the angle. Right, so this is the sine, this is the theta, and if you average the two, you get two over pi. So between zero, this is zero, this is pi. So if you if you integrate from here to here, this is the same thing as taking the average, right? If you integrate the probability density, which is you get this middle value here. Okay, the second part is to find the cosine of theta. Same thing between 0 and pi. Straightforward, right? Cosine theta d theta. You integrate, you get 1 over pi. Sine theta between 0 and pi. And you get 0. Let's try to imagine this. So this is the cosine. This is pi here. And if you average these these two here, you get zero. You get this value here. So no surprise. So let's do the last piece. Cosine square of the angle so we're just gonna integrate that between 0 and pi cosine square theta d theta 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi Whoop. 1 half times d theta and if you integrate this you get one half there you have it so did we miss another piece let me see 
Uh, oh, we missed the Sigma, so let's go ahead and do that. So sigma square, this is from earlier section, section, sigma square is the expectation value of theta square minus the square of the expectation value of theta. And we have both of these numbers, this is pi square over 4 minus pi square over Sorry, this is 3, this is 4. There we go. So, this is going to be equal to pi square over 12. And sigma is going to be equal to pi. Just take the square root, divide by 2 square root of 3. So this is the standard deviation 